1943 was the year when, globally, the pendulum of war began to swing back to the Allies, but at a horrendous cost in human lives and misery. And thanks to our steadfast armed forces, we survived and eventually became victorious. So we honour Britain's armed forces past, present and those to come. We should remember too conflicts past and present and those now serving in the armed forces attempting to calm a troubled world. Be thankful on this day. Be thankful for our armed forces. Much of the maintenance of the status quo in today's glo global world relies on a military presence far beyond national boundaries. And of course the military must be ready to use lethal force as required by the UK government when diplomacy fails. In this increasingly unstable and uncertain world, the armed forces of Britain are as relevant now as they ever have been. So what is the purpose of this gathering today? It is difficult not to think of the dreadful casualty figures from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, of those families whose sons and daughters will not be returning home, or of those sons and daughters whose mothers and fathers will not be returning. Today is a day to remember them, and a day to celebrate the significant achievements of our armed forces, past and present and to look to the future of our country's defences. Many say that the younger generation are not up to it. This, I believe, is far from the truth. If the situation demands, every generation has its Nelsons, its Wellingtons, and its Churchills. Today is also a day to reflect on the support that we at home give our men and women overseas. Wars and battles are not only won and lost on the front line. The support of those at home is essential to the success of any campaign. Drawing all of this together, the British Armed Forces of today are res resilient, resolute and relevant, and also very, very busy. If I had to pick a few words that describe what the British Armed Forces stand for, I would say honesty, loyalty, integrity, toleration, fair play and justice. These are surely things worth celebrating, preserving and fighting for. We are here on a perfect English June evening, and the freedom and the plenty that we are privileged to enjoy has been bought by the sacrifice of our armed forces in the past and is guaranteed today and in the future by those who serve now and will continue to serve. I hope all, for all members of the armed forces and their families have drawn some comfort and encouragement from this national demonstration of our appreciation. We may not always be as obvious with our support as we should, but please know <coughs> that we do appreciate everything that our nation owes to its armed forces.